Hello, and welcome back to the internet. I'll be your host today, Neon Tokyo Rain, and I'm here with this core set cube draft. And uh, I'd like to invite you in, have a little good time. We can sit down. We'll have some uh, get your get your finest drink and uh, just relax, kick back, and we're gonna go on a little journey. We're gonna go on a cube draft journey. Billy, I'm pretty sure the last thing you want is a video of me pooping. I, I you know, I, I really feel like that's where the line has to be drawn. I passed my driving license test. Rip 2K Euro, but legal. That's awesome, dude. Zichi, congrats, buddy. <laughs> Neon Tokyo. 10 name infringement bucks. That's a good deal. I, uh, I actually don't mind infringing upon your good name if it means sweet donations. It, I'm really petting my head, but it looks like I'm petting the entire space. What do you hope to draft me fire with this? I actually have no idea. I don't think I've drafted it enough to know exactly what I'm looking for. And I didn't memorize, like, the list or anything, so... I don't know. Hard to say. I've just been enjoying the ride, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, it was a negative ten dollars. It goes in my account. Glitch in the s huh? I don't. You know, I'm not sure if that works the way you think it works. Ooh, a day of judgment and a languish and a mind control. These are like top tier Esper cards. Oh, concentrate. Remember when you could draw four cards for th for for three mana, or three cards for four mana? Destiny Trigger, you doing okay? Oh my god, who's passing to me? Hold on, where am I? <laughs> Gas. Oh, that's awesome, dude. That's cool. Got Billy, got Billy over here passing. I want to take the Mind Control. Day of Judgment seems like the pick. Mind Control's a blue card, friend. Friendo. This is the Conan O'Brien song. I don't know how it's in my head now, but here we are. I actually like a Johnny a lot. I also like Jason's Ingenuity, and we already got a good blue card. Remember, M15 had a, the some of the M sets had some really bonkers uncommons. We were like, this is so much better than all the other uncommons. Oh yeah, Grave Pact is real sweet too. Triple Black though, I'm not I'm not entirely sure. Our first draft was a uh was a blue black deck and we ended up winning that bad boy. Siege Gang is good. This pack is actually pretty stacked. This is why I'm enjoying this cube, because there's definitely there's a lot of hard picks in it. I thought it was gonna be boring as hell because it's cube or a corset, and you're just like, oh, corset, that's exciting. But then I drafted it and I was like, no, nah, that's pretty cool. I'm going to take the Ajani. Let's try blue-white, and we'll see what happens. I think each player's have to keep the player for returns a creature they control to their owner's hand. Oh, Spectra Ward is utterly insane. Protection from all colors. Good lord, this card is busted. I don't think there's that many ways to actually deal with this card once it resolves.
Oh, rewind? Also, mobilization. Both of these are good. Disenchant, I guess? No way, not with Spectre Ward in the pack. Unless you're way behind, and I'm going to take a Johnny over. Also a dual land. Yeah, I like mobilization. I think it's a cool way to just, like, pump out some dudes. Also, it's very good with a Johnny, right? Like, we can make two dudes. Yeah, I'm going to take the I'm gonna take the mobilization. Three 1-1 one, one Solgies. Also Knight of the White Orchid and Adaptive Automaton are both very, very good. I don't think we're on the mill plan here. Oh, Dis you were, you were, oh, you're mentioning, yeah. Like, Disenchant is probably, Disenchant and, like, Oblivion Ring are two of the only cards that, like, actually can deal with it. That, that I know of, which is probably inaccurate, but still. Three one one white soldier seems good. Knight of the White Orchid is just very good, though. I want to take the knight. Oh, Leon and Warmaker? War Leader? War... I like Merfolk Looter a lot, but... Uh, War Leader seems great. Especially with a Johnny. We are drifting away from the loot, but this card is just good enough to... Like, I mean, we don't... We're drifting away from all colors that aren't white, really. Splash for prime time and plow under. Ever excited? I don't know, buddy. I make no promises. I like Palaka Worm, but we could also take Sphinx of Facts or Fiction. Um, this is kind of creeping up in my mouth. I'm not going to do anything about it. But um, it's getting a little weird to talk, I'll be honest with you. It's probably just Sphinx. I mean, 5-6 versus 7-7, seven, seven, this draws you like a million cards. And now we're definitely putting Mind Control back in the deck. The Void is slowly... Oh, Glacial Fortress. Oh! Well... I like Knight of Glory, but I'm going to take this Glacial Fortress. I think it's more important. Plow Hunter is in this cube, and we just drafted it during our last draft. I'm going to take an Invoke. I think it's an important card to have. Hey, Disenchant came back. Aviation Pioneer came back. We already have an Invoke, so I'm okay without the Disenchant. Twin Cast is kind of meh. I think it's just Pioneer. It's two bodies, and we have a Johnny, which is pretty good. Actually, Anthem also seems very good. Uh, we're going to take the Anthem. We have War Leader and Mobilization so far. Oh, Sarah Ascendant, huh? Not excited about it, but I'll take it. Mobilization, that's what happened to Diablo, right? <laughs> yes. The question is, how many things can I put over my face? The answer, I think, is a lot. It's literally creeping up into my mouth. I really can't even... This is another good one, right? Until the end of turn, one creature gets plus one, plus one, first attack, vigilance, and lifelink. Okay, that's pretty good. I don't think it did appear. Spud Muffin, thank you so much for the reset. We really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Put a 1-1 one -one counter on each creature you control and a loyalty counter. That was a good one. Joke's on you. I have a green hat on right now. I think it's just the Johnny. I think Planeswalkers are strong in this queue. I don't actually want a double, another double blue card. Oh, a charcoal diamond. That's like a marble diamond. Only... Mainer. I kind of like Council's Lieutenant here. It's a soldier. It has vigilance. 
It has first strike. It's a two drop. I'm going to take it. At the beginning of each upkeep, if you lost life, create a 1-1. One, one. It's not bad. It's not bad. I like this Vivian Reed a lot, though. Oh my god. That's so itchy. Why can't they make a material that doesn't itch your face? You. Disc Golfer, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Welcome back. It's probably just divination here, right? Could just be 2 2 Shroud Boy. Sword of Vengeance, Reprisal. Other add up to go is good. Condemn is okay. Actually, Condemn is pretty versatile. I think I like Condemn here. Icy Manipulator, that is a late Icy Manipulator. Oh, I also like Attended Knight. That's got to be Icy, though, right? Icy's just so strong, even in this format. Attended Knight is good. It's a 2-2 two -two with a 1-1. One -one. That's a 3-3. Three -three. Remorseful Collection is great. You like Mirror Image here? Interesting. I think I'm a, I think I'm a bigger fan of the 2-2. Sans is pretty OP. But I don't think we're milling anybody is the problem. I think I'd just rather have the 2-2. Oh, Honor of the Pure? Oh, man. We got Glorious Anthem and Honor of the Pure? How deep are we going, boys? I'm just taking the Honor here. It's probably just Mind Seeker, actually. It's just a good value creature. It's just a good value creature. Would you please cover the little patch of hair that's sticking? Yeah, it's it's re it's really it's driving me crazy too. All right, hold on. I'll take this in crust. Hey, Elite Vanguard. All right, that's a playable dude. So if we're playing blue, these are solid blue cards. We do need some more fixing, though. I thought this was going to be Geons, but now it's White Weenie. This is just like Diablo Immortal all over. <laughs> oh, that's just good stuff. See, that's just quality content right there. Elk Tears, should I bring this when I come visit you guys? Jesus, this card's terrible. Oh, reprisal is fine. <laughs> well, the content is okay, but your invisible air is on point. That's all I've ever wanted. Who's Lovato? Who is that? What is that a reference to, James?
Man, tri- are we going to have the triple cat draft? Probably not. Imposing Sovereign and Gideon's Lawkeeper are both pretty good. Can this go on the soundboard? Let's see what it is. Why would that need to be on the soundboard? I'm pretty sure it's this guy, right? This is definitely not the best of Johnny. We also only have 10 creatures, which I'm, I want to be very aware of. Having their dudes enter the battlefield tapped is so huge, guys. Come on. Oh, veteran swordsmith. Oh, that seems like a thing. Also, master decoy tapping dudes down. <gasps> Rewarded. That was a pretty easy pick. Oh, Crusader? Equals over to creatures you control? And it's a soldier? Sure. Thanks. These are all great. BFC, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. I don't mean to alarm you, but your face is floating. Prove it. Oh, it's funny you mentioned El Capitan, because I've been watching a lot of Alex Honnold videos recently. Oh, Hiromancer's Cage is just a bad Oblivion Ring. So I guess we'll take the Oblivion Ring. I'll take we'll take the good Hiromancer's Cage, as it were. Timely reinforcements. Paragon, other way creatures get plus one plus one. Oh boy. I'm just gonna take all of the buff spells. Yeah, get out of here, blue. Reprisal, you're kind of iffy at this moment. At this moment, it has begun. At this moment, the scooting do do do. All right, so ways to pump our creatures, specifically soldiers. I don't think you get anything, to be quite honest. Oh, well, you get Spectra Ward, actually. God, that's pretty good. Can you also get... It's just an Aura, so you can't get an Oblivion Ring. Eh, what else are we going to take? Nothing. Oh, wow. Here we go. Here we go. Nope, don't care about you. Oh, oh, Armored Ascension. Let's well, Armored Ascension, boys. What are the white cards? We have Sarah Ascendant, Sarah Avatar, Reprisal, Invoke, and Heliod. Also, now we're going to put the Heliod's Pilgrim in the deck, and we're also going to put the Armored Ascension in the deck. Gideon's Lawkeeper. Yep, glad you came back. You're also a soldier, which is nice. Yep, deck looks pretty sweet right now. Anyway, we're going over our pump spells. Hold on, I'll take the Earthquake. I don't want to get Earthquaked out of here. Uh, spells that pump more than one creature. That's a good amount. Eight cards in our deck. That's uh that's something. I, this might be a twenty. This might be a sixteen land deck, especially with only one five drop and one six drop. Sleep is okay if we ever want to go back to the blue. Hmm. 
Meh. Whatever. Oh, I'll take the strands of night. <laughs> okay. Any changes we're making? Any cuts we want to go to 17 land, maybe? Probably not. We also have a knight. That should help things out a bit. Yeah, I think this deck looks gassed. We're not, no, we're actually not main decking Inferno. Uh, I know, I know it's a controversial decision. I'm probably going to take this off right now. We don't have much life gain, no. No life gain, no life gain. Nope. Nope. This gives flying too. That's insane. Nope. Nope. This gives this has makes life linkers. Mm. Yeah, very little life gain, if any. Sorry, main boarding. I know. God damn it. Ugh. What? Don't do me like this. Yeah, I'll keep this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is very good. We're also on the draw, so that we can go turn two this guy, turn three knight, turn four Odric. All right, it's coming off because heat is a real thing in the world. Okay. Ugh. Woo. Thank you. Enemies, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Three months, still a pretty medium fan. We'll get there. We'll get there eventually. Also, I noticed when I first started streaming today that there was someone in the chat and their name was medium fan and i was like that's awesome Oof. Goblin Palial Driver. D -d 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 driver. So we're going to have five lands here, which is super nice. Like, they can just throw all in front here, right? We just kill two and then it trades. That's not great. Oh, that's nice because we can O-ring this guy. Oh, we're so bad. I just defaulted to playing the stupid thing. Whatever, they'll play another lane next turn. I'm going to O-ring this guy so we can get in there with the first striker. Because we can still do the same thing next turn if they play a fourth lane, which they are most likely going to do. How I mess up the trigger? I mean, we didn't mess it up. We just didn't get it. <laughs> All right. So, obelisk for goblins. Obelisk for gobelisk. That seems good. Wait, what just happened? I played my land. And now we're going to go knightsy. Okay. 
Get a dude. Play land. I'm probably just going to play Sovereign here because I want their guys to come in and play tapped. I did. I did kind of. No, I kind of freaked out because, like, I played my land accidentally because I was thinking of Oblivion ringing the, the pile driver. Um, and because of that, I was worried that I missed the opportunity to Knight of the White Orchid, which I did. Oh, wow. Holy shit. That's vomit inducing. And then I threw up in my mouth. Alternate timeline. Have a good night, buddy. Thank you for hanging out, as always. I'm at eight. Why wouldn't you just play these two? This guy is a four, three. And then you could actually just kill this. And I'm so far out of the game at that point. And then you get to keep the dragon for next turn. What even happened in this game? Holy God. Let's bring in the invoke. All right, let's try again. This is just a human. It has no job. It's not like a cleric or a soldier or something. That's weird. I don't plan on playing a soldier on turn two, so I'm just going to play this guy because it can get in and we can imposing sovereign. A human hobo. What's going on with this lag here? There we go. All right. Kona, in before Kona Flame again. He's only human. I guess that's fair. Touche. Touche. Oh, your little guy came in and played tapped. Well, we're definitely saving the O-ring this time. You know, for uh, more pressing things like Obelisk of Erd. buddy oh that's a dude that is a dude well we're definitely doing that dude okay well I forgot to tap this guy down I think we're just blocking with the bird actually Yeah, this seems fine. Uh, 
How dare you? Okay, we're getting there. One more for this and two more for this. I don't feel like attacking here though for obvious reasons. So we're gonna pass. I feel like there's some significant lag going on here and I don't know why. Oh, that's a good one. I'm having a good time. Yikes. I did. Like, look, see, this is what I mean. Like, I clicked it, and there we go. All right. Nothing, huh? So, I'm really tempted to put this on just on here. Protection from all colors seems pretty nuts. Look, still zoomed in. All right, hold on. I want to restart this thing. see if that fixed it steam audio is lagged for me too interesting I assume you mean stream audio but yes which is interesting because we have no like we haven't dropped any frames literal zero frames dropped and also uh, totally green how much RAM do I have 32 gigabytes Oh, actually, that'd probably do it, right? I just go settings, system. Nope, that didn't do it. All right, so. I don't actually know if there's anything I need to hide here. I don't think so, right? Yeah, not really. Just put it down here. Yeah. I mean,. Definitely not a memory issue as far as I can tell. <clears throat> Spectre Ward lets us go sh hit this and then, like, this feels like it's going to be strong enough on its own. But this guy's dead if we wait a turn and then we have nothing. And then Captain of the Watch is probably dead. They can go negative one. So Chandra goes to two, and then even if they have plus Chandra, we still get to kill Chandra next turn. So I don't imagine they'd have an answer for this as a mono red deck. But. All right, this guy won't be able to block. You got it. Triskelion, that would be gas. Uh, oh, got a 2-2. Two 2-2 -two. Two -two online.
All right. This is actually gets significantly better if we can hit a land for Captain the Watch. I'm just going to take four here. I don't foresee us being in condemn range yet. Yes. Excellent. Insta slam this guy. And then both of these are pretty attackable. Got the old 7-7 seven, seven and the 4-4. Four, four. And they both get vigilance. Holy good lord. Kona Flame's nice because they can go three, one, two, one, two, three. No, that wouldn't do it. They'd have to go three, two, one and just kill three of these guys. Earthquake for three is also good. It kills all of these. It kills all their guys too, though, so they're 100% blocking the 7-7. Seven, seven. What? Something's happening here. Stoke the flames. All right, maybe we're dead. Oh boy, the enchantment can be targeted, but it's a red deck, so I f feel like they probably don't have that many answers. They can't earthquake here because then everything would die and they would be dead. Can they deal us eight with five mana? And yeah, that'll do it. Cool. Shroud Boy would have been good there. Yeah, our Goblin deck yesterday was very, very good. I feel like our draws were not that great, though, today. Like, we just didn't really curve out. We didn't hit any... We had, like, a ton of four drops. We didn't hit any of the Ajani's. Tano's 15 months in a row. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Always a pleasure. Good times, good times. We were down to 547. Somehow we just dropped a bunch. Uh, I feel like we're coming on. Do I just get rid of this guy? No, there's got to be bigger. There's got to be bigger fish to fry. All right. All right. Wild growth, that's just wild. Hey man, that's just wild. Um hmm. Crusaders a two two. We can also just play mobilization. 
I guess Crusader is probably better to get down, and then we can War Falcon and Mobilization next turn if we hit a land. I honestly don't remember this one, Armored Ascension or Mobilization. This was originally an Onslaught. Although I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, you're going to be that guy. All right. Well, that's cool. This is our life now. Oh, Spectre Ward? It was rare. I mean, it's a definitely a rare. So, yep, don't care about that. I'm going to draw planes here, I guarantee it. You're going to like the way you look, I guarantee it. Playing against the decks of Ghost Pass. Yeah, first round we lost to the a similar mono red deck that we ended up crushing with. This round we were dying against the Plow Under deck. I guess we're not really dying against it, but, you know. They have two cards. We have a grip full of gas. All we need is one more. Uh, it's The card is called Spectra Ward, not Spectral Ward. <laughs> it's about colors. <laughs> not ghosts. <laughs> yes. Unsub. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, good. How nice. Pretty good, Tano's. Pretty good. How about you? How about for you, buddy? Oh, wow. Elvis Champion. Elf, elf, elf. Well, that's something, isn't it? No complaints. Went to BlizzCon this past weekend. It was exciting. I did not complain at Diablo because I find it completely reasonable for a company to make announcements and offerings outside of their uh, main IPs. And uh, I understand that they are uh, completely different offerings and not meant to replace the initial offerings. So it was good times. Land. Mm, okay. Let's hit that Vivian Reed and yeah, both at Vivian Reed. Sure. How come that's not a bird soldier? You gotta trade. You gotta throw something under the bus. Your last card is Elvis Champion, which is fine. But otherwise, Vivian be dead. You probably just get rid of Llanowar Elves, right? Armored Ascension is seems pretty busted. If we get it's automatically plus four, plus four and flying, but like if they have Vivian Reed, I guess they, they just kill the creature. But we can just kill Vivian Reed. You know what I'm saying? Oh, wow. They let Vivian Reed die instead of getting rid of their... Like, a Llanowar Elf. I would... Oh, man, that's so good, dude. That's fine. Yeah, do that. Get in there. <laughs> Come at me, bro. Deal. Yes. Excellent. Being able to just make two ones with mobilization seems pretty strong. Can't we just put Armored Ascension on Crusader of Odric and the Vigilance and the... It seems pretty good. Don't we just win in two turns? Like, they have to have an answer for... I'm doing much better now. Things are shitty for a week, but I'm getting back to normal. Good friend. Oh. Tonos, man. I'm so sorry. Holy crap. Two friends in two weeks. I can't really imagine. That's super brutal. Glad you're glad you're picking it up, though. Yeah, that's that is no bueno, good sir. We could also just play War Leader here.
I definitely just feel like this on here. Like, they have two turns. A green deck, a mono green deck has two turns to run answer for a 9-8 nine, nine, Vigilant Flyer. Oh, also we get to attack with the bird, too. Yeah, I risk it for the biscuit. Puts them to one, and then the bird is also lethal, so they have to deal with both of these guys. They also can't crack any fetch lands now, so that's pretty relevant. Armor Ascension do 11 damage right now. Don't you just win if you attack with all? Uh, I don't think so, no. Because they have t these two, these two can be blocked. Oh, come on, dude. Actually, I don't think. Are we dead? Let's do some math. 5, 10, 15, 21, 27, 8. So we can block 6, 7, 8, 9. Wow. We're not dead. Oh, wow. Wow, what a game, dude. What a game. Wow, we get them to one, they get us to one. We are literally survived by one. That's insane. Of course, like, but they had to literally, they had one card in hand, it was always champion. They hit visionary, so it's another elf. And then they play the Elvis Champion. And then within the next, that card, they had one card in hand, and then they drew one card. And it had to be overrun. That's still very, very well drawn. That's insane. Uh, God, I wish we had, like, a fog. <laughs> I might just want Sarah Ascendant. Oh, man. One is not dead is a great command. Wow, that's good. I'm a fan of that. Uh, why did it say it can't attack? Because it can only attack if you control a knight or a soldier. But I had both Leon and Warleader, which is a soldier, and I had uh, mobilization in hand, so... Out, am I? I'm also something of a scientist myself. I want to take the Icy Man player out and bring in the Sarah's, Ascend Sarah's Ascendant. I'm something of a scientist myself. This hand seems great on the draw. We can go turn two to guy this guy, turn three this guy, and this guy. I don't think we can lose this game. God, that's so arrogant, right? <laughs> There's no way we can lose this game. <laughs> oh, that's very good. Here we go. Elvis Champion. So they play land. We play White Knight, Honor of the Pure. Attack for three. I am something of a scientist myself. I have no idea why they let me kill Vivian Reed when they could have just blocked with a 1-1. One, one. Interesting. Alright, let's not mess this up this time. This doesn't have reach, right? Even though it's in a tree. I guess it can't move, so it can't really reach anything. Gotta bounce that hornet nest. Three hundred and ninety shares of Microsoft at one ten. That's not bad. I was considering canceling replacing place because not bad. Not bad. So if we bounce this, you have to just bounce yourself, right? So what do we do here? Put two counters on these guys. 
Uh, a counter on this guy is actually pretty strong. I feel like this game is already looking very, very good for us. What are you gonna do? Send the dogs or the bees or the dogs with bees in their mouth that shoot bees when they bark? Oh dang. Kill the honor of the peer. Oh, kill the cleric. It's not what I would have done. Cause I could just actually get the cleric back. Killing the honor seems much better, because then you can actually attack a Johnny here. So the nice thing is they actually have to uh, they have to return this to their hand, or I guess they could activate Treetop Village. I guess we could just attack here. We could just attack old Vivs. But then if she doesn't die, if they don't block. My problem with Ward is that we lose a Johnny if we do that. It doesn't give this guy vigilance. But I do want to, like, we're, we're basically trading a Johnny for Vivian here. I guess we can actually play another dude. No, we got to play the ward, right? Yeah. Does it even matter? Can we just make this a seven and then attack them for, I guess they, yeah, but then they get, they, nah, no, we're not going to do that. I guess we have to ward here. Also, uh, yeah, we'll just put a counter on here now. Because even if they bounce this guy and attack, a Johnny still survives. So we get to keep a Johnny for another turn if we do that. Yeah, I like that. Because now they have to bounce this or they can activate this and bounce it. But if they activate this and bounce it, they're not going to be able to do much else for this turn. Got him. All right. Well, now we have a 7-7. Seven, seven. Alright, so the mono red deck beat the mono white deck 2-0. The mono white deck beat the mono green deck 2-0. Alright. Well, something. Now I need to figure out whether I need to pay off the IRS early. Uh, don't they do like... Don't they give you like better deals if you pay quarterly? I don't know. I just pay whatever they say I owe and then I'm good. Whatever it is I think I see becomes a tootsie roll to me. At least that's how it works in Canada, eh? We charge you interest if you don't pay. That's a that's a Canada voice for you. 
I don't really want to attack. Actually, maybe I do want to attack into this guy. I don't think I care. Like, I'd rather you not gain a million life. They didn't. They were like, no way. This, this The value is too real. I do. I always get Canada and Minnesota confused. Which of these ladies am I playing now? M10 and M13. Hmm. I think it's probably this one, but uh, but uh, who knows? Actually, it's probably this, because we can attack with this one as a 5 million Bajana next turn. They also missed the land drop, so. I think the accents are so close because they're so close together, obviously. Come on, everybody knows that. Everybody knows how Canada and uh, Minnesota work. Can of soda. Can of soda. That's funny, because <laughs> it's like a can of soda. But it's like really Canada and Minnesota combined. Oh, overgrowth. I'm going to tap that land down forever. As soon as I draw another land. See, now you can't trade. Now we've passed the point of trading. You have lost your trade equity. Tootsie roll, I think I'm in love with you. That's actually problematic. I am not thrilled about that. Yeah, whatever it is. I guess we're just tagging for f seven here. <laughs> me go face, me no need to trade. That's accurate. They're at one. This is where they play actual ghost prison, ghostly prison. That was never in a set. Oh yeah, so it would be pop. It would be can of pop. Uh, but I don't think there's a place. Oh god, what can you have that stops this remorseful cleric or this other thing? Okay, you're. St oh, you go. To no, you're still dead, right? Doesn't remorseful cleric kill you? This doesn't have reach, right? Oh, this has flying? All right, that's fine. Uh, that was actually a great draw. This doubles next turn. Don't say roll, I think I'm in love with you. We could play this and tap this, but that doesn't do anything for us. Or does it? Yeah, I like tapping this guy down better. Play orb. <laughs> Play your orb. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Wow. Yep. Yeah, this is what I was afraid of. I guess they still have to block both though, so. Could also just play Captain. Does Hydra have reach? No.
Well, this is lethal, so... I don't want to attack with both because then they can just go block with the 2-2, two, two, block with the 2-3, and then we lose both guys. Like, we can already swing out. Like, they're going to probably block with Soul Warden here. Which is fine, because we can play Swordsmith here. Shut up and take my money! Gotta run <laughs> Tano's. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Glad everything worked out with the Microsoft stock. And uh, sorry about your buddies. Sorry about your friends, man. Really, really appreciate the support. Hopefully, I will see you soon. Have a good night, buddy. Tootsie Roll, I think I'm in love with you. If you're here tomorrow, I'll see you then. Always a pleasure, sir. Always a pleasure. I thought Swordsman cost one. Two. It cost three. Let's go to the beginning of combat. Let's tap down this guy. This guy's at a point where, like, he just kills us next turn. All of our creatures are lethal, though. Is that... Is that nature's little treasure? Here comes Vivian Reed. Kill the Icy Manipulator. Ant Queen. Not too shabby. That is a broken card. Hmm. Good deal. Good deal. Oh, I'll just kill you then. <laughs> oh, they still have this. We actually can't do that. Ooh, we would have died, you see. That's a roll. That's a I think I'm in love with you. Whatever it is. Why is this song stuck in my head? Hydra has trample. Hydra definitely has trample. It gets trample if it has 10 or more counters. And it'll be a 32 32 next turn. I think I want to just wait till like if we play the ward like they have the they have the opportunity to, to, to play any kind of like naturalized effect on it um I kind of just want to play like attack with this force them to eat it like it, it eats an ant play mobilization attack and then play icy here Alistair Kane, thanks so much for the resub. Welcome back. Really appreciate the support. Okay. Cookie monster thing. I'm in love with you. Yeah, I want to just get the ant out of the way. Like, I don't want them to have that many creatures next turn. Like, I'm, I'm afraid for the, the, the time where they go Ranger's Guile on this thing. So I'm just going to tap it now. Boom, 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 boom. That guy's fine. Not great. Oh, wow. This is soldier creatures have visions. Even theirs? That's interesting. Oh, I could have won. How could I have won? Uh, if we warded there, we actually couldn't afford to pay the mana cost from Windborn Muse. So, you know, the same reason we've been paying two to attack this whole time. Wow, that's aggressive. Honor of the pure, huh? Hmm. Okay, well, you got one card in hand, so... Okay. 
target you. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, because of... Oh, no. I forgot about the wind. That's so bad. Not good. Not good. Not good. Abort. Abort. Oh, yeah. I forgot about the... Read the... Yeah, I forgot about the Vryn wing mare. I didn't see it. Well, they have to actually trade with one of these guys to survive, so that's pretty good. Oh, wow. Well, that's just fine. Jesus, crying out loud, man. Oh my god. Getting a little, getting a little dicey, guys. Come on, land off the top, land off the top. Let me draw land right off on the top. This is a game. Land off the top. That's not a land off the top. Stop, top, top. Yeah, I probably wouldn't have actually played this elf. I would have just made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, four, one ones here. Which I think is better. All right, we'll give him a turn. No attacks, because we cannot. Yeah, we're just gonna tap this guy down again during the upkeep. If they had Ranger's Guile, they would have done it last turn, so we know they don't have that in hand. Make your ants. Dear God. Oh, dear God. This is unreal. All right, so they had a land. <laughs> Fling. Kaping. That Hydra is gas, dude. Can you imagine if we didn't have Icy? Also, if we attacked with the Remorseful Cleric and got rid of this Windborn Muse significantly earlier, this game would be totally different. Are they trying to gain life here? I'm just going to block with 4-2 guy here. And then I'll block with these guys. At no point am I ever risking this Crusader. What can they have? Protect from all colors, like nothing, right? Yeah, I don't know. I guess I guess they could have something that makes me sacrifice the thing, so he probably should have attacked with two. Um, reprisal definitely coming in. Okay. What can we take out? Maybe Heliod's Pilgrim. Celestial Purge does not do it. 
That Hydra's like how an infinite number of Gyarados is stapled together. <sighs> yeah, sand seems fine. Ah, uh, Celestial Flare, yes. That's what we mentioned. Correct. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, look at these ugly 7th edition cards. Gross. Okay, that's enough lands. We are good on lands. How about a 2-drop? Is that something you can, uh, you can make happen? That card's good. That's obnoxious. I'm not going to tap anything here because if you want to attack either of these guys into my elite vanguard, I will likely take it. Okay, that's literally all the lands I need. I don't need any more lands. Oh, they missed the land drop, though. Wow. Oh, wow. Give me a way to tap this down. Give me an icy, and I'll just tap that thing down every single turn. That is aggressive. No, I mean, I meant I I said icy, but what I really meant was uh, planes. Give me a planes, and I will tap that thing down. Similar but different. <sighs> Plow under would be good here. I agree. I agree. So annoyed by this. Is that allowed? Yeah, there. I mean, she's not consenting adult. Boom, 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 boom. I'll attack with five four. All of your blocks are pretty bad, so. Wow. Yeah, I'll eat both these guys. That's a good deal. That is a good deal. MTGO is like a butler, but instead of giving you what you want, it just hits you over the head with an ugly platter. That's, yeah, that's about right. It's like magic the plattering online. Sit around and I'll watch the tube, but nothing's on. Change the channel for an hour or two. Primordial Hydra is sunshine. It's okay, we'll take care of it. Oh, I see. Look at this combo. Ooh, 
Oof. Oof. Change the channels for one hour or three. Well, we're not attacking because we want to keep both reprisal up and tappy tappy up. So we can kill this guy with reprisal, which is probably better mana usage than tapping it down. Remember when you played through Resident Evil on, on Steam? Yeah, that actually was good times. I had a good time. I did actually feel like I was going to target their creature with a Johnny. You don't know me. You don't know my life. Okay, that's enough. They have no cards in hand? Yes, feels good. Chiefs don't understand. Okay, well, boop, boop. Give them the double boop. I'm okay with uh, them taking a million here because uh, one, two, three, four. I guess they can alpha and kill a Johnny though. But I want to keep them like that's just still a lot of pressure. Yeah, they're just gonna kill a Johnny here. I guess that's fine though. We crack back for 10? Oh, they didn't do anything. Fascinating. Seven versus five. I don't see a situation where this is ever going to uh, be better for us. Bite my lip and close my eyes. Put these guys in the garbage can. Yep, you got it. Wow. They're just throwing these dudes away. This game is pretty much over. That was a weird block. You're at 17. Like, you're not in super bad shape here. Big fan alert, I'm looking to get a computer to start playing MPGA. Any specific suggestions on what not to get? Both of my buddies have decent laptops there. Interesting. Um, I actually don't have any recommendations, despite being both a computer aficionado and a Magic, a magic the Gathering aficionado. Um, oh, it all makes sense now. Um, just because I don't actually... I haven't played enough MTGA to know what does and doesn't work on a laptop. Captain of the Watch. I see. It's actually pretty good. So we can actually return Lawkeeper here, which feels the safest. And we can play Icy. Tap down this guy. Put 
Put all them eggs in one basket. I see my nips tapping down that one lamp. <laughs> oh, the old my nips. I see my nips. Like you do. Wow, that's rude. If we dealt damage, if damage is dealt to you, it's dealt to him instead. Okay. Well, that is a thing. I guess he'll just never attack then. So if 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 this guy attacks, oh no, I forgot to tap down your nips. I mean, you're ah, it doesn't matter, I guess. All right. We all we all win. All right. So we actually have to let this guy go, right? Because otherwise all the damage is dealt to him. So if we attack with like six guys, they all deal it to him. Is that right? All damage dealt to you is dealt to this guy instead. Sure. I don't think we have to do it yet though, right? They're at 18. Um, the reason to wait is because we have Icy out. It just taps guys down, but I guess it's fair that it just doesn't do anything, so. Yeah, what can you do? We can also get him back with uh, a Johnny. No time for... Captain of the Watch. Captain of the Night's Watch. <laughs> That's good. That's probably going to seal the deal. Muy bueno. And got him, got him, got him. If you guys are watching on YouTube, uh, if you're watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. I'm just ending the stream. Thank you so much for uh, watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on Patreon and on Twitch and on MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore if you were looking for some extra comfortable micromodal underwear, onesies, sleep pants, socks, tees, eh, pretty much name it. They are restocking the Star Wars stuff. I'm not sure if it's in yet, but uh, they do have some sweet Star Wars promotional stuff going on right now. So check that out. Um, if you get 15% off with my affiliate link, and you also get free, free shipping and free returns. So be sure to check that out. Thank you guys so much for the support. I'll see you next time.